the idea behind Daytona Beach Week came to me from a couple friends, and it wasn't talked about before. It was presented as a way to get surfing back around the pier. It's disappeared. When I was a kid in the 80s and before me in the 70s, and even back to the 60s, the pier was the hub. They didn't surf the jetties as much as they do now, hardly ever. The jetty wasn't even there in the 60s. The pier at, at Main Street was the top spot in this area and everyone hung up there and there was a thriving surf scene culture, everything around the pier. There were surf contests, pro contests. People came from all over the world to surf there. One of the last you know, pro contests I surfed in Florida before I went out of here was a pro contest at Daytona Main Street Pier. That was the last one. For 25 years, they didn't have an event, and basically surfing was removed from the Daytona area. We brought it back. 25 years later, we brought back the first contest. We had a blast. Everyone agreed the second year would be fun too. We did that. This is our third year, and we're looking at just having more people come down to to a wonderful location that is the Main Street Pier, the Ocean Walk, Joe's Crab Shack, the roof, there's fireworks on the pier Saturday nights, you know, all the infrastructure for all the tourists and everyone that comes in is all there, but it's never been used by the local surfing community, which is 90% of my friends and family that all grew up here. And it was putting us there for an event that we would enjoy and our children would enjoy. And that's the idea and the belief behind and what we're doing every year is to make more family community centered fun down there at the unbelievable location that's Ocean Walk, the Main Street Pier. It's one of the best venues I've been to in the world, if not the best venue in the world to host a surf contest with the food, amenities, the parking, the shops, you know, there's something for everybody. And so for this year's Daytona Beach Week, we changed it up a little. Um, we've had a men's pro contest in the past and that was the you know, the marquee division on Saturday. It ran all day Saturday. Friday afternoons had been a tow out express session with a cash prize, and those went wonderfully for everyone. They were so exciting. Tourists that had never seen surfing before were awestruck by the jet skis and the speed and the height of the airs and the maneuvers they'd never seen, and that's what we're running with. So Friday and Saturday this year, the main event, 12 to 7, window of best surf, 20 invites, we're gonna run around in circles with a jet ski and fling people into the air and have a tow out express in session with prizes for best air, best maneuver. You know, we're gonna have, have a mixed bag of kids, girls, boys, and then the top pro surfers like Daniel Glenn and Chauncey Robinson and Robbie Merrill and Robbie McCormick and Aaron Cormick and all those guys that be in the tow, shot, tow at and you can see their best. Not just their, you know, competition act, which is cool, but their best maneuvers, what, what they're holding in their tricks, in their bag of tricks. And that's really pushing surfing. There's a couple other events around the world like Stab High in Waco, Texas that's using this format. And it's just, it's pro providing the entertainment that the people and the kids want to see. And that's what I want to, want to provide here at Daytona Beach Week. Sunday still the Groms, we're going to have kids. Sunday fun day, soft top for the family, for the moms, for the girls for the, you know, the grandpa that wants to get out there and learn how to surf and, and chill. But then we'll also have what we call the ex-groms, which is a co-ed division with push-ins and 12 and under, and set that up with three different heats. And so there's prizes for everybody, best push-in. You know, you have everyone from Ethan Harbinson at 12 years old and, you know, one of the best kids in the, in the United States to seven-year-old Asher Eastwood another kid that you're going to hear a lot of. He's only seven years old and he's coming from New Smyrna and he's just ripping and we just gotta, gotta make it carve out a little niche for us still. And that's what we've done. Surfing's back.